Legendary artist Jennifer Lopez has done the unthinkable. She has taken a film, this is me, dot dot dot, now, and she has pulled it into our hearts and our minds by reminding us it exists with a documentary that came out accompanying it at the same time called The Greatest Love Story Never Told. Mm, so brave. It's powerful stuff. Let's talk about it. Artist Jennifer Lopez has set out on a journey of self-discovery and what she found along the way was herself. And she made sure that while on this pilgrimage, she dragged every one of her friends and family that could stand her along for the ride. And thus, this great experiment was born. A three-part entertainment extravaganza, the likes of which no one has ever seen before or wants to see ever again. We have the music that came out via Spotify and record releases. We have the movie, This Is Me, dot, 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 now. An hour into the life and mind and psyche, kind of redundant, of Jennifer Lopez. And then we have this beautiful chef's kiss, a documentary showcasing just what this poor bitch went through as she got her creative vision made. What we have here is, oh, Ben Affleck's actually here. What's that, Benjamin? Thank you, sir. This is why you're a star and I'm not. Ben says you should subscribe to the channel Adam Does Movies right here as I post movie reviews, rants, roasts, live streams every single week. Movie focused for the most part. Sometimes I, I dabble into the TV shows. But yeah, I'm doing movie stuff. It's a fun time. It's loosey-goosey. Would love to have you stick around. And the best part, it's free. It's free to hit subscribe and like the video and comment. It's all, it's all free. Let's talk about this shit show. If you didn't watch the movie, This Is Me, dot, 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 now, consider yourself blessed. The experience of sitting through that, I, I think we're calling it a movie, was something akin to being waterboarded. You could play this at Guantanamo Bay and even the soldiers there would be like, okay, that, that's a bit much, all right? We have limits. But I already reviewed that and believe it or not, there was a lot of views and people clamoring for me to talk about this other thing, the greatest love story never told. And I thought, do I really hate myself that much that I'd sit through another hour plus of Jennifer Lopez feeling bad for her rich ass self? And then I saw that there was 100,000 views on that video and counting, tons of comments still coming in, demanding, and a lot of new subscribers. So I said, no, I owe it to the people to watch this thing. And who knows, maybe it'll be different. Maybe it'll be better. <laughs> it's different. It's not better. It's not worse. It just is. You see kids, sometimes when people hit middle age, they go through what is called a midlife crisis. Typically this turns into buying a sports car. Jennifer Lopez opted to spend $20 million of her own money on three pieces of shit coming out in tandem. She's directing, she's writing, she's acting, she's producing, she's willing it all into existence by the power of hard work. And if you don't believe me, Watch this documentary. She'll tell you all about what a hard worker is and how much she has overcome. The struggle, the strife, the four marriages, which is what this really focuses on. And you know what? I felt like I was on this journey with her for an hour and 22 minutes, which felt like six months. I laughed with her the one time she laughs. I cried with her the eight or nine times she cries. I got upset with her when someone would come up and ask her which type of mud swatch she likes better and she couldn't be bothered to roll down her window because she was just so tired. We are going to learn over the course of this movie that she's very tired a lot because she chose to do this thing that no company would fund, so she had to fund it herself. She's burned out. She's stressed. She's missing out on things in life because she has to do this thing that she put on herself to do. <laughs> It's relatable. Just last week, I said, you know what, Adam? Since Disney's not going to pick up my movie script, I'm going to self-fund it. I'm going to pop out $20 million from my Swiss bank account. I'm going to make this thing happen. I'm going to do everything involved with it. And then I'm going to instantaneously bitch up a storm because I'm tired and burnt out from taking on too much responsibility. <sighs> Jennifer and I aren't so different. Her and I. There's a few shining moments. A couple that stand out for me in this uh, documentary, I think we're calling it, 
is when she shared her private letters with Ben over the years to everyone in the staff working on the film. She pulls out this chest of love notes and sonnets and whatnot, and they just kind of rifle through it all like a filing cabinet, pulling out whatever they want. Who knows what kind of sick shit was said in there. Well, Jennifer Lopez and all of her friends know. And then Ben is interviewed during this later, and he's kind of like, yeah, she didn't tell me about it, and I just thought... <laughs> Did I really get back with this crazy bitch? That seems like a that seems like a crappy thing to do, but you know, she's the boss. She's the boss. Her team deliciously refers to him as Pen Affleck because of all the fucking writing he did. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> How embarrassing. If you're looking for action, oh, there's some good action in this. I was on the edge of my seat during this nail-biting moment where the conveyor belt that Jennifer Lopez is supposed to grind and thrust herself onto was not ready when they were gonna shoot. The dumb technician comes in, he's like, oh, sorry, could you wait like 20 minutes? And she's like, well, I guess we have to, you fucking idiot, you're fired! I hate you! And then she cried and she's like, this isn't working, nothing's working. I didn't know if the conveyor belt was ever gonna work, even though I saw the movie and it was working, but who knows? It was just a really tough experience to see. I already talked about the aforementioned mud swatches. There was two of them. And she chose to go with the one that was splattier and messier. And that's just smart boss bitch stuff right there. This is why she's paid the big bucks. There was another portion of the film that I honestly can't believe they kept in where all of her colleagues, associates, people that she met over the years bail on her. <laughs> like they all come up with all these excuses. One person said they were at a wedding. A movie's not shot in a day. I mean, this one might've been, but still, how long's this wedding going? And even JLo knows it's bullshit. She calls it out, she's like, he's not at a wedding. He just doesn't want, they read the script and they don't want to be in it. I've been there, I've made those lies before. <laughs> it's awesome, it's so good. Why would you put this in your movie? If you were disappointed with This Is Me, dot, 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 now, that Benji wasn't in it much, Ben of her's in it more. Ben Affleck has some screen time here. He probably has a combined total of four or five minutes where he's, uh, you know, kind of looks like he's held at gunpoint off cam, short for camera, and he's just struggling to say anything positive about this mess out of this situation. This guy's cooking up some, like, Oscar award-winning films. He's actually making good shit, and he's got to pretend that his wife, this artist, is at home making this, this think piece on the same level as Prince's stuff, which she refers to several times. They're basically the same artists at the end of the day. I put Prince over here. I put Jennifer Lopez over here on the same plane, basically the same person at the end of the day. You think of Dove's Cry, you think of Purple Rain, and then over here you got her song with uh, Ja Rule, I'm Real, pretty much the same. And this is what it sounds like when doves cry baby crazy cause i'm real the way you walk the way you move the way you talk little red corvette and i can't da, 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 da. <laughs> baby crazy whatever happened to ja rule you know who took his place pitbull pitbull became the new ja rule mr worldwide Every Pitbull song, when he's gonna enter, he starts with a It's great, I love it. You know he's about ready to pop off. Since Jennifer Lopez self-financed this film, there's gonna be a good chunk of time dedicated to her bitching about how much things cost. <laughs> it's great. It's like me at Christmas. Oh, what did that run me today? Oh, pocketbook's looking a little, little thin after that purchase. Oh, that get thrown in for free or am I paying for that one too? I guess I'll find out when the statement comes in. There's a sequence in this movie, very tastefully done, where the director and producer slash, I guess, friend of Jennifer Lopez are kind of whispering about financials. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the woman keeps kind of going into it. She's like, why are we spending this on this? And the director goes, but, 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 just, 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 just call him. We'll talk about it later. Let's not say anything. And she's like, why the fuck not? I want to talk about this now. And the director goes, but, but, just, 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 we'll talk about it later. And in the background of this frame, we see Jennifer Lopez looking like every evil stepmom from a Disney film. <laughs> the only thing she's missing is a cat to pet. <laughs> she just looks pissed. And the director goes, just, just don't say anything. Just don't say anything right now. At any moment, Lopez is going to snap and kill them both. 
I really wish this whole documentary would have painted her out as a supervillain. It might have been more true to form from what I've heard over the years, and that would have been hilarious. But instead, no, most of it's her kind of just sad, struggling with what she should do with her life now that she has literally everything she could want. And I will say, she's still young. That's a hard place to be. You have everything you could ever ask for. What do you do with yourself other than sit around and think, do I really want to be with Ben Affleck? Should I dump his ass? Should I get a divorce? <laughs> divorce number five. At the end of the day, she got us talking about her, so she wins. And I think that that's all she really wanted was just some attention again. People to remember that she's a megastar or she was at one point in time. Truth be told, the last few times I've heard about Jennifer Lopez or seen her was because she has a great ass, like a big fat ass, and that was a celebration. She kind of led the movement of big butts and being proud of them. And I mean, you know, she championed it. I don't know if that's really something you should win an award for or, or make lots of money off of, but she did. And she really is. She's the best in the business as far as I'm concerned. So kudos to you, Jennifer Lopez. You did it. You made it. You're a star. You, you paved your own way. Well, I mean, I heard that she paved her way off the backs of other people singing their songs, lip singing, whatever. It doesn't matter. She made it. She's a star. And so now she's simmering it. She has to sit with it, tell people she's an artist, come out with new material to prove she's an artist, but you don't have to prove anything, J-Lo. You're Jenny from the block, damn it. And you always will be. All right, those are my thoughts on her uh, things. Again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following, liking the video and doing all that. Comment below your thoughts. Did this hit you? Were, were you moved by this film typically these things have some sort of a message some sort of a goal in mind did you get something out of this did you think yes thank you jennifer for saying i can achieve anything if i work hard and pay my dues or did you think that's not really what this is it's kind of a feel bad for me because i self-financed and then it all fell apart let me know your thoughts please think about subscribing if you haven't and hopefully i'll catch you next time there should be a pitbull jaw rule Akon combo. Oh my God, you throw Usher in? Yeah, man. Everyone that has a little intro thing should be in a song together and the entire song's just intros of them. Woo-wee! Convict, convict. Baby, crazy. We're done here.